We're blessed to have Allison Howard from Concerned Women for America to speak with us today. Small world. Thank you for coming out on the side of truth today. Thank you. I'm Allison Howard, and I stand here before you on behalf of more than half a million members of Concerned Women for America. And I want to take a minute and talk to the grown-ups in the room for a second. Do not give up on us young people. I'm going to say it again. Don't give up on us young people. The media will tell you that I don't exist. Well, I'll be the unicorn. I do exist. And I believe in the marriage between a man and a woman. My culture, my generation, grew up, grew up in this culture that does nothing to support or protect marriage. We bear those scars. Every young person here bears those scars of a culture that saw divorce just tear apart our country. Ask any little girl who never got to have the embrace and watch of her father if it mattered to her. Ask any little boy who never got to hear the tone of his mother's loving voice if it mattered to him. Young people know that a mom and a dad is the best model for marriage. And I'm gonna say it, the media will tell you that my whole generation is aboard this same-sex marriage bandwagon. Well, guess what? Every young person here, I wanna hear you. We're here! And women, we as women, where are my ladies at today? I know you're cold. We as women know that what happens at the Supreme Court has very serious consequences for us. Forty years ago, the nation was having a healthy, robust debate about the beginning of life and abortion when the Supreme Court decided to play judicial despots and sweep in and end the process and cut it short for a new constitutional right to abortion. That dark day, nine men in black robes decided for the entire nation the fate of more than 50 million unborn babies lost to abortion today. And left countless women hurting physically, spiritually, and emotionally by their so-called choice. That day, the Supreme Court robbed us of the chance to even debate the life issue and decide for ourselves the best public policy that would take into concern all of its citizens, born and unborn. So today, the Supreme Court faces a very similar mountain, don't they? They have a chance to uphold marriage laws and return the respect to the American people that the constitutional authority they have to decide marriage law and marriage policy for themselves. I think we're smart enough to figure that out. We do not need another Roe v. Wade. So tell them today, let them hear you, we don't need another Roe. We don't need another row!